a furlong and a half to go and it is now Natalie's Joy who has taken the lead for Joe Fanning and goes clear by a length and a half. Two in second, Swift and Sewer. Barbara Hepworth is back in third. Zalpa is long, long way behind. Racing close home, it is Natalie's Joy for an eye-catching winning debut. Natalie's Joy, a filly that um, she's been right at the top of the pecking order in the fillies at home and went to Goodwoods hoping she'd win first time out but not expecting it to be in that, in that manner. Um, I can't say times are something that we particularly delve into too right. frequently but my phone didn't stop going for the next few days um, the likes of Mikey Spence and people like that messaging me saying this filly's just broke the <laughs> clock at Goodwoods. Um, I think it was the, it was the fastest, fastest two year old time over six phones at Goodwoods in the last decade and the next three fastest were three renewals of the R Richmond or something like yeah. that. Um, so yeah, look, we're not going to get, we're not going to get too carried away. There's, there's more to it than just the time. But um, she might actually go for the Cheshire. A race she had Nyleti second, a place in front of the Derby winner. Exactly, yeah. And last she, year. she showed that a speedy filly can, can go very close in, yeah. um, in the Cheshire. And I do think there's a, um, someone else might be better. Um, sort of better situated to comment than me, but I, you know, James Willoughby or someone will tell you the answer. It seems that the Phillies have a very good record in the Chesham against yeah, the Colts. Yeah. Obviously, September was the one in front of us last year. Um, hey, they brown won it with uh, maybe. Uh, yeah, um, a couple of yeah. years before that. So um, the Phillies have a good record from a fairly small team of them. And um, if we'd got another run into it before Ascot and a bit more experience, we might have been more likely to go down the Albany route. But we just feel that with an inexperienced Philly, that Chesham race will hopefully be a slightly smaller field, it'll develop a bit slower and it'll be a bit easier for a horse just having one run under its belt.